in this topic, we are supposed to find the nth term for the arithmetic sequences. The nth term means kind of an explicit formula. It's given by a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 d. This is not explicit. Uh, I mean, when you solve for the nth term, that will be explicit formula. It's not recursive. Now, we anyways, just remember this nth term a n formula. It's the first term plus n minus 1 depends on the n value and times the common difference. We will see a problem how easy it is. Write an equation for the nth term for each arithmetic sequences over here. This is given over here as phi negative 13, negative 31. You do not need to find the common difference for everything. They have told this is an arithmetic sequence. Just find for the first value, negative 13 minus phi, it will be negative 18. That's it. So this must be added everywhere. Now you can see the d is negative 18. What is the first term? Phi. Why do we need this? Because we have to put it in the formula. The first term, phi, and the d value that is negative 18. <coughs> Sorry for my voice. Um, uh, now, over here, all you need to do is substitute and simplify. That is phi, and over here, you keep on multiplying. And uh, this is distributive property. You multiply this negative 18 to n. And you multiply the minus 18 to minus 1. It will be positive 18. And then simplify as much as possible. You can see 5 and 18 can be simplified. It will become 23. So this a n is the simplified formula. And that is the nth term. So if you know n, say I want to find n for 15. All you need to do is a 15 equals. Here instead of n you put 15 and multiply 18 times 15 plus 23. That's it. So... Similarly, we have one more problem. Here, we don't have a sequence. They have given a, phi, and d. But the problem here arises because we do not know a1. What is the first term? There are many ways to solve. Now, this is the first thing. To find a1, put the formula. Use the formula. Whatever you know, substitute. You know a, n, or a, phi. Is, uh, over here, you can put it as a, phi is 19. First term is unknown. n is phi. And d is 6. So all you're doing is substitute them. 18 equals a1 is the first term plus n is 5 because over here it's mentioned and minus 1 d, d is 6. Now if you're thinking why is this a n? So now whenever they mention, sorry, whenever they mention say a7 equals 10, that means the seventh term is equal to 10. You do not know the nth term. You can state this as the nth term. We can consider a n as 7 and then substitute the value 10 over here. Okay. So what will be the n value? n value will be 7 and this will be 10 in, in this example. So that's what we have done. And now why we are doing this is to find the a1. Substitute and solve. You will get a1. Just uh, simply uh, simplify this. 4 times 6 is 24. 19 over here. Take 24 to the other side. It becomes minus 24 plus 19 equals negative 5. That's the first term. Now, you have a1 and d. All you need to do is put the same formula again, a n formula. That is a1 plus n minus 1 d and solve it up. This, all you need to do is simplify. Distributive property, 6 times n minus 6. And now simplify minus 6 and minus 5. The answer is minus 11, 6. And this is the correct answer. So this is the nth term, okay, nth of formula for the nth term. Similarly, please do solve these by yourselves. Wherever there is sequences, you need to find the d value, the common difference, and then use the first term. If the d value is not, uh, the sequence is not given, first use the formula, find a1, and again use the formula and find the nth term. Please do it by yourself. And then after you practice, solve it and then check the answers. All the answers are shown over here, one by one. These are the answers.